Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello and welcome to Lazy Minutes channel. My name is Gintara and today we are going to make a face cast. You'll need a tub of Vaseline. And I'm saying a tub because if you're going to do special effects quite often, you will need a tub of it. Plaster bandages, plaster, cling wrap, scissors, a plate, water, a bucket, sandpaper, and something soft. Whoa, 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 I meant soft cloth. Put your cat back down. So firstly, I cut my beautiful plaster bandage into smaller pieces, some of them very small, to put under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose. Then I add cold water to the plate, the coldest you can get, like your ex's heart because plaster loves to heat up while it solidifies. In other words, you might burn your skin if you are doing this with warm water. What I like to do here is to put, wrap my cling wrap around my skull cap wrap, yo, to cover my hair from accidental removal. If you want to lose some facial hair and do a face cast at the same time, now it's your chance. Don't use the Vaseline. But if you like your mustache and brows in place, make sure you use lots and lots of Vaseline. And by lots, I mean you have to almost drown in it. Now all you have to do is stick all of these pieces you cut to your face. Always make sure you don't get any of this in your eyes. Not only it is very unpleasant, but also cancer. Well, I don't know that for sure, but I do know that it will hurt a lot. Keep it safe, my people. Lay pieces on top of each other several times to make sure that the thickness is right, so that the mask wouldn't break when removing. Oh, and also try not to move your head too much, because in some areas plaster might stick off. Also, do not cover your nostrils, breathing is not overrated. <laughs> After 10 to 15 minutes, touch the mask to check if it's dry. If it is, start moving your face muscles to remove that perfect luster face of yours. If not, wait a bit longer. Hold up your mask to a light source, and if you see any shine through, add some more plaster on the bad side. See how bad it is? It attracts evil if left alone. While you're at it, cover your eyes and nostrils as well. Now it's the fun part. Take that bucket and fill it with some soft material of your choice. It cannot be a cat, but it can be old sweater that is disgustingly gross towel you hate or even those clothes you bought in hopes of wearing but you never did. In other words, use something you don't need anymore. Arrange it so that your face might could be put in as horizontally as possible. Don't forget to Vaseline your mask's insides as any other simpleoid doesn't work at all. Unlike some tutorials I've seen said, guess why I know this? Vaseline is the best release agent known to humanity and beyond. Trust me, you need Vaseline. Mix the simple powder plaster with water until it has sour cream consistency and then pour it into the face. And now it's the time when you can subscribe to my channel and like this video somewhere in there. I am waiting. Now that the big portion of your work is done, you can relax, but only not longer than 12 hours. Very important to know that after those 12 or a bit more hours, the plaster will soak up Vaseline and it will be a nightmare to take off. Guess why I know this? Once you take off the mask from the face cast, the easy way, you can mix a little bit more of powder plaster and put it to fill the holes that the air bubbles left. When the plaster dries, use sandpaper to remove any unevenness and dust everything off with any brush you have. Some people add glossy top coat. I don't because hot gelatin mold removes any of that anyways. Guess why I know this? I hope this video was helpful and if you have something to add, please do that in the comments below. All of the products will be listed down below as well as my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and if you like, consider subscribing. Also like this video somewhere over there. And see you in my next video about best sculpting tools for clay.